Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 264, looking at Eternal Masters today. Yes, you heard me correctly. Wizards of the Coast announced a new product called Eternal Masters. Crazy. It's coming out in June. It's going to be available in English, Japanese, and Chinese Simplified. It's a 249 card set, so it's the same size as Modern Masters, and it has $10 pack prices. Yes, you heard that correctly. $10 pack prices. $6.99 in digital, but the digital cards cannot be redeemed. Before we jump in too far, what has been made 100% clear is that there will be no reserve list cards in this particular set. The reserve list is not going away. You can hear my full thoughts on the reserve list at episode number 86. I am not a fan of it, but I have come to realize that it's going to be here forever. That particular episode goes over the cards that are there in a lot of detail. What is the impact going to be on the current market? I already know a lot of people who have started to move their non-reserve list cards into reserve list cards. Reserve list cards are going to go up by at least 20%, if not more, as people trade cards like Force of Will and Caracas into reserve list cards. Now, so far we only know that two cards are going to be reprinted, Force of Will and Wasteland, but what we do know is the rarity on each of those. Force of Will is going to be mythic and Wasteland is going to be rare. Yes, Wasteland is going to be rare. This is gonna be as common to get a Wasteland as a Noble Hierarch is out of the last Modern Masters. This is going to significantly lower the price of Wastelands and slightly lower the price of Force of Wills. Particularly, the impact is gonna be huge on Magic the Gathering Online. These are two of the more expensive cards online and being able to get them out of packs for drafts is going to make them very, very accessible. What Wizards is trying to do here is move Legacy over to a format that is played a lot online and provide a product that competes for the secondary market of cards currently. There are a lot of cards that make a lot of people a lot of money on the secondary market that are not on the reserve list, and Wizards wants a piece of that with this particular set. Few people have asked me already, is this a sign that Wizards is going to be supporting no reserve list legacy? I don't think so. It's a cool brood format currently. It sounds like fun. I would definitely give it a try if I knew anybody who actually played it, but I don't believe that Wizards is targeting this particular market. I believe that they're instead targeting the cube builders, your EDH players, and your current legacy players who want cards to build their decks. There are a lot of amazing cards that are not on the reserve list. Caracas, $150 card. Sneak Attack, $50 card. Lotus Petal, a common, I wouldn't be surprised to see that moved up to uncommon or even rare, is a few bucks. And Rishadon Port is 60 or 70. These are all cards that I would watch out for in the new set. None of them are confirmed yet. Only Wasteland and Force of Will are confirmed. We have a lot of amazing cards that could see reprints though. Mana Drain just saw a Judge Foil, so I'm not guessing it's going to be in this set, but all Uncommons and Commons are not on the reserve list. So Oubliette, which is one of the harder cards to get right now for Popper, adds to the devotion of Grey Merchant. I would not be surprised to see that card with new templating in this particular set. Sinkhole could very easily see a reprint here. One of my favorite cards, like Mishra's Factory, could easily see a reprint. It's been reprinted before. Portal 3 Kingdom and Starter cards are technically not on the reserve list. They could see a reprint. I don't expect this set to be full of Portal 3 Kingdom cards. My guess is there'll be one to four in the whole set, and Imperial Recruiter may be one of them. I don't expect to see Ravages of War or Imperial Seal there or Grim Tutor. Although Grim Tutor is not seeing that much play currently, Conspiracy cards could see 
reprints in here, but I find that highly unlikely. Conspiracy was heavily printed and heavily opened. Um, only Dak Faden, Council's Judgment, and Scourge of Thrones really have a lot of value to them currently. Although I would be happy to see Dak Faden back again. I think that it's going to be another year or two before we see another Dak Faden. And Council's Judgment um, actually was printed other places. I doubt we're going to see that printed again. More likely, we're going to see some of the cool cards that are banned in Modern available in this set. Ancestral Vision, Stoneforge Mystic, Jite, Dark Depths, maybe even Jace the Mind Sculptor. Those would be wonderful cards that could easily headline this set. I don't expect this product to directly compete with Modern Masters, so I'm not expecting to see Tarmogoyf or Lily or Snapcaster, I'm expecting to see cards that are not played in modern that hit an entirely different market. If this is really popular, I can see this on a two-year or a four-year rotation as something Wizards brings out to make this casual, eternal group of players very, very happy. Sensei's Divining Top, Glimpse of Nature, Bloodbraid Elf, and Dread Return are other targets that I expect to see in this set. Sensei's Divining Top is badly in need of a reprint, and this would be the perfect place to put it. I would move it up to rare, and then it would be extremely popular even at the rare spot. I expect to see some commander cards in here. Flusterstorm, Toxic Deluge, True Name Nemesis, and Containment Priest could all see reprints in this set. These are wonderful casual cards, great EDH cards, and very, very good legacy cards. What do you think is going to be reprinted in this set? What one card are you sure you will see? Leave it in the comments, and then use your force to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. This has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.